to Moore. Moore, now to Weirmouth. To Ireland. Ireland through the centre. Centre can have a bounce. McCann coming at him. He's still going brilliantly. Players. Weirmouth tries to get it. Comes out Collingwood spoil each other. Worthing to the Weirmouth. Weirmouth, a beautiful hand pass to Carmen. Carmen should shoot for goal. He does and puts it through. Long kick. Mackay in front. Carmen from the back, a big leap. Couldn't mark. Still Carmen comes out with it. Manjules. Well played by Weirmouth. Shaw leaves it for Weirmouth. He's caught from behind by Keogh, but he slips the tackle. Kick the goal by Weirmouth. What a great goal by Ronnie Weirmouth. Dempsey and Thompson to do battle again. Two Brownlow medalists. Thompson wins on a rare occasion to Weirmouth. Weirmouth at centre half back. Called a play on by. Uh, oh, fumbles again for Weirmouth. He loses it in the tackle to Shaw and he gave it straight across to um, O'Born. Long kick to Moore. Still Peter Moore a chance. Hook for goal. Good kick. Great goal. Richmond, in there's Kink, in there's Weirmouth, caught, gets it to Moore, Moore having a fit of the juggles, back to Kink, Kink to Scrum. 16, 16, four goals, three now, is the Collingwood lead over St Kilda, who were very disappointing until three quarter time, and they were trailing by 49 points, so they have fought back, they are now down 27 points, so they've picked up 22 points on Collingwood, and to their credit, they are fighting the game right out, Ditterich and Thompson once again do battle, and the man in front, Thompson, and passes to Shaw. Shaw got out of trouble nicely. Look for a short pass. He can see a teammate. And Manassa takes the mark. Plays on quickly. A hand passes to Weirmouth. Weirmouth from centre wing on the outer side. Going toward the Wellington Road end goal. A good kick. Doesn't get the route where it was meant. Yes, it does. One goes goal with Paul Collingwood. The kick drops short. And it's effort to kick eight goals in this final term after you know, looking as though the game was going to just run away with Collingwood but we see them fight back and now a 27 point margin that possibly could have been a 60 point margin had they not shown so much courage. There's the kick back toward the outer side half back flank position each player missed it in turn. Atkinson caught in possession got a hand pass working. Weirmouth accepts the tap down going in the open goal Weirmouth a fair way out from goal the kick will float in I think all clear it is and got there Collingwood 18th goal kick by Ronnie Weirmouth his second goal that is the siren at Theodore Park. Final scores being Collingwood 18 goals, 23, 131. Have defeated a courageous St Kilda, 14, 13, 97. Thompson and Jones, Worthington over the top. Second man for the back line. It's Weirmouth. They're starting to get the ball out of the centre. Up to full forward, kick one hand. Going to get a free kick. Going to be a free kick paid, and it's going to Kink. He can't believe it. He was hanging on, and he's going to get the free kick. Well, there you are. That's an incredible one. Umpire Nash. It was Austin who was hanging, uh, Kink was hanging on to. Barham giving him instructions on the strength of the win. It's going right across him. Kink, chance to level the score. He has. At the five minute mark of the third term, and that's his second goal. Kink two and more three have been the Collingwood goal scorers. Scores level five minutes into the third term. Well, Rene Kink uh, could have had four quite comfortably. He missed one unbelievably easy one in the second term but two goals is still a fine effort and he's been a very dangerous player he's a fine team player it's coming around not quite and enough, here's though. the goal of the goal. season possibly luck wise Off Ronnie Wearmouth had the ball hit onto his foot they kept him back there for a, a notion of kicking the ball towards better position oh Stewart has been working at this time Andrew like lucky to Wearmouth that he covers those early beaters beautifully the half forward flank didn't quite make it it hasn't made it at all in fact out to Wearmouth oh he goes inboard which uh, in the older days was a, a mortal sin out to Worthington oh, Thompson and Nolan in ruck Thompson over the back but it was Blight who was sharking but it, that's whom it was meant for nicely towards uh, Barham down 
towards Moore. Dunn was Max Richardson. Oh, off the boot of Wearmouth. Tackles uh, Nolan. And that wasn't a bad tackle, really. Although the ball did bounce away from Nolan, which made the tackle a little bit better. He gets the fly over the mark. Montgomery. Vanessa, luckily, no support for the moment. Good play by Montgomery. They give him the free kick. No. Good play by Montgomery. who had uh, possession of the ball. A bit of boxing going on. Eventually, the man in front playing the ball got the free kick. Collingwood trail by 15 points, 13 minutes into this third quarter. He's 55 metres out. It's a floater off line. Take it at full stretch. Taken away by Morris. Chance for Ireland. He was tackled by Boys and will take the free kick. Sweeping handball infield and Max Richardson starting to come into it a bit more. A long kick to the goal square. Moore is there. Wearmouth break roving. Here's a goal. Eight points of difference. Five missed and behind. Straight up the centre of the ground. They virtually have to play very direct in this last quarter to bridge the gap. Wearmouth slides the handball to Picken. Picken goes direct as well, up towards half forward. What he's doing himself half the time. Wearmouth back to Dunn, who's the, the fiddles. Worthington. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right now. Coming with 21 points down. Start of the quarter, 14 points down. Five strong positive marks to Worthington, most on the back line, and was moved in the, to the forward position in the third term. He's kicking from 15 metres out. Got it in the head, and he steered it through. Collingwood are now 15 points down. quarter. Two goals to North Melbourne early in the quarter. Now two goals to Collingwood in the middle stage of this quarter. Up towards Dunn. Chance for Wearmouth. Across the shore. Higgins line out from 35 metres out. Fires the goal. That's a Collingwood goal. That's Shaw's third goal. to the last minute, second. Woodcroft and Weir now, if he's played with a shocking eye injury. So keep going to him and uh, across to... Good goal. Good goal, if he can pick it up, but he can't. Now he can. Rayshaw with the chance, he races in the goals and has put it through. 